Hello guys, this is Ghazi Roman and welcome to another video. On today's video, we'll be talking about the new B760M Aorus Elite AX motherboard from Gigabyte. On today's video, we'll be talking about uh, the basic feature of this motherboard and we'll be unboxing this motherboard as well. And we'll talk about a few kind of builds that you can achieve with this motherboard. So without any further ado, let's get to the unboxing. So guys, before we start with the basic overview, let's get some basic features for Aorus and Gigabyte motherboard out of the way. First of all, we're talking about the anti-sulfur coating. So basically, we all know that the pollutant in our country, it does contain a lot of sulfur. So all of the Gigabyte motherboard does have an anti-sulfur coating on top of it so that the sulfur components does not react with the metal uh, tips of this motherboard and it helps with the longevity of this motherboard itself. Second of all, we're talking about solid state capacitors. So basically, Gigabyte always uses Japanese solid state capacitor, which has longer longevity. That means that your motherboard is going to last for a longer period of time. And third of all, we'll be talking about the LED dress pad. So this is a feature that has been prevalent for a long time for Gigabyte. So basically what they do is they separate the digital and the analog component from for gigabyte motherboard with an LED dress path. So basically the analog frequency and the digital, digital frequency does not mix and match, thereby eliminating noise created by these two kinds of frequency mixing together. Another feature that has been prevalent with gigabyte motherboard is the PCI metal shielding. For a long time, Gigabyte has been uh, shielding their PCI slot with a single piece of metal so that heavier graphics card. If you uh, build this motherboard with a heavy graphics card, it reduces the PCI uh, slot from bending or sagging so that the graphics card does have some additional support from the PCI uh, slot as well. So these are some of the basic features available with all Gigabyte motherboard. Another feature that we need to talk about is the dual BIOS. Dual BIOS is a feature that Gigabyte have been using for a long time. So basically each motherboard comes with two BIOS. So you have got a primary and a secondary BIOS. If the primary BIOS for some reason fails, the secondary BIOS will kick in and your motherboard is going to boot. And then you can restore your primary BIOS from your secondary BIOS. This is a very big feature, uh, useful feature to have on a motherboard. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about this particular motherboard. This is a B760M Aorus Elite AX motherboard and it ships with a new LGS 1700 socket that supports the new Intel Core i Gen 12 and Gen 13 processors. So this motherboard ships with a 12 plus 1 plus 1 digital VRM design. So basically you've got two separate VRM dedicated for providing additional power to the memory modules and the integrated graphics within the processor itself. So next up we'll be talking about the thermal design for this motherboard. For this motherboard Gigabyte went with a fully covered thermal design which means the VRM are under a thick layer of thermal pad on top of that sits the metal aluminium heat spreader. So basically the thermal pad is actively siphoning heat from the VRM and transferring it to this metal spreader which is then again transferring this heat to the system atmosphere which is exhausted out of the system via the system exhaust fan. 
and just below that we have a dedicated heat sink for the m.2 as well and we have a heat sink for the phases on top as well to keep those phase down while pa supplying power to the processor so this is the fully covered thermal design in a nutshell so next i will be talking about the ram support for this motherboard as we've mentioned earlier this is a ddr5 supported motherboard so all of this four ram slot can be populated with ddr5 ram running at dual channel mode plus this motherboard supports the new xmp3 module so basically you can run xmp3 module and if your ram supports you can push it up to 6000 megahertz easy so next up on the list is the pci slot as you can see here we have a pci metal shielded slot as we mentioned earlier that gigabyte and Aorus does this with most of their mid-tier motherboard what you're going to talk about is the pci slot itself for the b760 chipset gigabyte went with the pci gen 5 slots so basically you have got double the bandwidth from the previous generation the pci gen 4 generation slots so basically if you connect this motherboard with let's say 3060 3070 or 4060 4070 the pci gen 5 supported graphics card you are gonna get a huge performance boost from previous generation let's say the P pci gen 4 generation if you connect a 3060 graphics card to a PCI Gen 4 supported motherboard and if you connect a 3060 to a Gen 5 supported motherboard the performance from that graphics card will be phenomenal. Another feature that has been added to the PCI slot that I need to mention is the PCI Easy Latch. Now this does not affect any performance but if you are one of those guys that hots off their uh, graphics card very frequently so reaching for that pin in the bottom is kind of uh, hard at least it's for me because i've got chunky fingers so basically what they did is they raised the latch a little bit higher so it's kind of easier to push down on this and open this latch easily so they have called this pci easy latch you've got the same thing for the m.2 slot as well instead of that small tiny screw that you need to find a driver for uh, instead of that they have come with a spring loaded system here so basically you have an m.2 you just slide it into the slot and put apply a little bit of pressure and the m.2 locks itself in the slot so next up on the list is smart fan 6 so basically it's a software based feature so basically you can access it via the bios system or you can download the software via the gigabyte app center so basically what's smart fan 6 does is you have got hybrid fan connector throughout this motherboard and if you connect your fan through that hybrid connector gigabyte has profile built in within the smart fan 6 software so basically you can choose and select the temperature threshold that your system needs to run in and smart fan 6 will take control of everything so basically if your system is idle and does it is not producing any heat the fan itself will shut down the hybrid fan connector will shut those fans down if it does not reach that temperature threshold once the temperature threshold is reached the smart fan 6 will instruct those fans to start working the fans will gonna ramp up and start cooling your system down and you can have multiple stages set. so basically you've got one stage for idle when the pc is let's say producing less than 20 degrees celsius heat and you have you can have one stage for let's say when the pc is producing medium level of heat let's say 40 or 60 and then you can have one setup for the highest possible temperature threshold let's say 80 when the, your pc system when your whole system reaches 80 degrees celsius the all of the fans are gonna start ramping up to their full speed to keep that system cool so this is some smart fan 6 software explained in a nutshell another feature to have is the q flash system so basically you've got a dedicated usb button for uh, bios flashing so if you have a pen drive and bios installed within that pen drive you can just connect it to the uh, usb slot and flash your bios without any need for processor ram and graphics card so next i will be talking about the io setup for this motherboard if you look here on the top we have got four usb 2.0 port and right below that we have got the antenna port for connecting the wireless connectors 
here so as you know this is an aorus elite ax motherboard and ax series from gigabyte does mean that it's a wi-fi supported series this motherboard supports a new wi-fi 6 technology so basically you've got a faster wireless connectivity than the previous generation and right below that you have got a display port and a hdmi port and below that you have got a usb type a port for bios flash and a usb type c port right beside that and above that you have got a usb type c port here and below that you have got two usb uh, 3.2 ports and right beside that you have got the ethernet port the 2.5 g ethernet port for this motherboard and if you look at here on the bottom you've got a spdif out for uh, let's say optical sound devices and below beside that you've got a mic port a mic jack 3.5 mm microphone jack and beside that you have a sound output port as well so this is the basic io layout of b760m or elite ax motherboard and with that we conclude our overview of this motherboard as well i hope you like this video if you did do leave a like on the video itself and like our page if you're watching it on youtube do subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to stay updated on future content this is me gazi Roman signing out I'm going to catch you on the next one.